Hallo. So today, here at this supreme place of Vajrasana, with a great gathering of people and people who are interested uh, and uh, benefactors who have requested me to give a blessing of the uh, Aryatara. So, as I have explained earlier, uh, this is a very special place, site, and at such a place, we all of us meditating on bod bodhicitta and the emptiness. Of course, because of the uh, blessing of, of the uh, site itself, there are cases of the uh, uh, a human a person, a person blessing the place and blessing uh, the place also blessing, uh, having the potential to bless a um, person. And so, the most important thing is bodhicitta, which is seeking. Enlightenment for the benefit of fulfilling one's own interests as well as others' interests. So, for one's own sake, for the sake of others, and for temporary goal and ultimate uh, omniscient state, it is bodhicitta that brings about these benefits. And so, for the sake of one's interests and the interests of others, I shall generate bodhicitta. Uh, sh uh, shows that it is uh, meaningful. So when you practice bodhicitta, you make your life meaningful. So since the time of our Tibetan uh, ancient ancestor, uh, ancient kings and Master Shandarakshita, and so have practiced bodhicitta. In India also, this was the case, and in the t in the Tibetan traditions of Sakya uh, Geluka Yun Yingma also, and so forth also, we have the, the, all the masters of the past also practiced bodhicitta, and through this practice of bodhicitta, the Im effect is that you have uh, a very peaceful, a blissful state of mind and a healthy a physical condition and when you are when you are relaxed and calm in your mind, it also um, has an effect on your f uh, body as well for uh, good health, which all in turn uh, affects for uh, that of the long life. And so, if you consider, if you meditate on and reflect, uh, uh, cultivate bodhicitta, you have better sleep. Otherwise, anxiety, fear, uh, anger, and hatred. Uh, so, without these negative states of mind, you are happy and you are healthy and during the day as well as in the night. And so, there's no greater factor than bodhicitta to bring about all these positive effects uh, in ourselves, in our life. And therefore, 
in order to uh, in order to fulfill the aims of oneself and others i shall generate bodhicitta as it is said and so having come to this very sacred uh, special uh, sacred place what we need to do is cultivate bodhicitta so the term bodhicitta in tibetan is chang chup chang when you think about this bodhicitta, you need to think about, consider that of the state whereby you have, uh, in, in which you have completely eliminated and, or overcome all the negative negativities and defilements from within your mind. And to be, without that, you cannot have the full uh, understanding and knowledge, complete knowledge of everything as it is. So, of course, if you, uh, there are uh, practitioners of the Sotantikas, of Chittamatras, and also uh, the uh, uh, Madhyamakas who may uh, cultivate Bodhicitta, but in order to have a very strong and powerful uh, uh, experience of Bodhicitta, you need to. Uh, really think of the attainment, the, 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 that of the uh, enlightenment itself, how it is brought about and, uh, uh, and so forth. And so, in other words, uh, having the, um, uh, the, uh, purified your mind of all defilements and having the full knowledge. So we are doing the 21 Tara Jenang uh, permission blessing. So it comes in uh, Rinjung Jata and Surka Jata. The, the one in Rinjung Jata, the hundreds of uh, uh, you know blessings, I have received it from Tata Rinpoche, from Tata Rinpoche, from whom I have received a lot of blessings, uh, lots of tantric uh, 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 empowerments. Although I didn't receive uh, teachings um, uh, on uh, much teachings on teaching on the philosophy, and so, but I have received lots of uh, blessings, jenangs, and uh, so forth. So uh, after arriving in India, I received uh, because there is this separate col uh, compilation of jenangs and. Uh, 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 initiations. I have no. I don't. I have no memory of having received a, the, the Suga Jata from uh, Tata Rinpoche. And after coming to exile, I received a, the, this from Jabje uh, Tijang Rinpoche. And so, mainly today, from my master. Tata Vajradara Tata Rinpoche, I have received the Surka uh, the uh, Rinjung Gyata, and uh, as a supplement to that, additionally uh, I have received the Surka Gyata, the uh, the, uh, uh, the the in initiation of the Surka Gyata from Jabje Tijang Rinpoche, my uh, late junior tutor. So first, I need to do some uh, preparatory ritual for uh, to give the the, the the jenang. And so, in the meantime, while I do the preparatory ritual, please pray single-pointedly to Aryatara, and then pray for the. Dharma to flourish for long and also for the benefit of all, for uh, for the well-being of all sentient beings, and also the uh, all everyone gathered here, the, the uh, spiritual masters as well as the disciples, uh, to live long, so that we are able to serve others uh, with the sense of I mean, with a warm heart uh, towards others. So if we could do this, it would be very beneficial. So while I do the preparatory ritual, uh, please 
uh, see the Tarya Aryatara prayer, the Aryatara who is the embodiment of all the enlightened activities of uh, all the Buddhas. So from the depths of your heart, have a firm and strong faith in and confidence in Aryatara and uh, recite the Aryatara mantra, Om Tare Tutare Ture Sohan. Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha 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 om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so om dare do dare do re so ha 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 om dare do dare do re so om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so om dare do dare do re so ha 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 om dare do dare do re so om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha om dare do dare do re so Om dare do dare do re so ha 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 Oh, my God.
sincere about uh, aspiring for, to the, uh, the Dharma and also liberation. And you have also def uh, devotion, faith, and uh, dedication to me. And so the, more, the longer you live, uh, to your own uh, individual selves, you have the opportunity to uh, uh, accumulate merit uh, for a long time, and also, uh, since Avalokiteshvara is on my head, you have also a special uh, devotion and a uh, special spiritual bond with Avalokiteshvara. Because of this, from life after life, uh, you, uh, go, uh, you'll be taken care of uh, by Avalokiteshvara, and you will be able to tread along the spiritual path to enlightenment. And I also make prayer for you to fulfill that goal, and you should too um, make that uh, aspiration and prayer. So with this kind of pure intention to reach enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings, please make a mandala offering to request the 21 Tara uh, Jenang uh, permission blessing. Please repeat this 
Environment of all knowing, exalted wisdom, destroyer of the wheel of samsaric existence, O foremost one, please bestow this precious teaching on me today. Three times, say it three times. So, with regard to the explanation of the dharma, is uh, the general and the specific uh, dharmas or uh, teachings. I don't need to do that now. So in any case, we have been practicing for, uh, the Buddha dharma with uh, sincere devotion uh, for for generations on. So it is the case with the Tibetans as well as the great uh, nation of Mongol, Mongolia and also there are um, in, uh, many Chinese. In, the, in China there are many Chinese uh, Buddhist temples and monasteries. When I was in China in 1954-55 I had the opportunity to visit many of them. And so, because of the Buddha Dharma having spread in these regions, um, people have the uh, imprint of Buddha Dharma in their minds. And so, you, we have the special karmic connection with the Buddha Dharma. And so, in this very special place, Vajrasana, Bodhi, Bodhi, Bodhi Gaya, we are doing a very special uh, uh, dharma teaching on the 21 Tara. Uh, and so, please repeat these lines for taking the Bodhisattva vows which is shared teaching. So shared here, maybe it means uh, the common to something which is common to both the Sutrayana and Tantrayana. And so, as I uh, mentioned yesterday also, in front of you in the space, please visualize Buddha Shakyamuni surrounded by his disciple Arahats uh, in really in person, and then uh, around them is the eight close disciples, Bodhisattva disciples, and then those of the uh, Master Nagarjuna and so forth. In other words, the six ornaments and two sublime masters, Nagarjuna, Arya Deva, Asanga, Vasubandhu, Dignaga um, and uh, Gunaprapani, Shakya Prabha. And so though the, uh, over the times the Dharma uh, may have uh, declined, but because of the various circumstances and conditions that we have met, we have this strong, in, uh, very deep devotion and faith in the Buddha Dharma. When I visited uh, the Trans Himalayan regions, uh, I find the uh, local uh, people uh, to be very devoted to the Dharma. And it is the case also with the Mongolians and uh, in China too. Though the uh, system that is trying to um, seize the dharma as uh, like a poison and try to destroy it but and uh, completely but they are not successful and so instead of that there is newfound interest in the dharma in china and so all of us when we think of the benefits of bodhicitta and so 
So we have this uh, strong uh, faith in the uh, teaching of Bodhicitta and uh, its benefits. It is the case with the people of Tibet, China, uh, and uh, uh, the Trans Himalayan regions, and also Mongolia. And so please repeat these lines after me. Um, uh, take refuge in the three jewels, individually disclose all non-virtues, rejoice in the virtues of all beings, and eventually take up the enlightenment of Buddha. Until I am enlightened, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Supreme Assembly. I generate the spirit of enlightenment to fully attain my own and others' in welfare. So these two lines, I generate the spirit of enlightenment to fully attain my own and others' welfare, is a very significant lines. Whether you want to fulfill your own goal or the goal of others, as well as temporary and short-term uh, short and long-term goals for oneself and others, you are thinking of cultivating and developing the spirit of enlightenment, bodhicitta, to fulfill the interest of your own and others. So uh, say this. Not only having de uh, developing bodhicitta, but having developed it, you call on other sentient, all sentient beings as your guests. So the next verse says, having generated the spirit of supreme enlightenment, I invite all sentient beings as my guests. So have this very strong feeling of uh, wishing to call on all sentient beings, inviting all sentient beings as your guests for enlightenment. And therefore, with that kind of determination, when you have that, this determination, then all sentient beings, high and low or middle, to fulfill their goals, the, we have the bodhisattva practices the, which will in, uh, benefit all um, uh, beings, uh, regardless of what mental... Um, spiritual and intellectual uh, capacity they have, whether small, intermediate, or uh, uh, great. So you are able to, so having generated the spirit of supreme enlightenment, I invite all sentient beings as my guests, engage in the supreme and wonderful contact of bodhisattvas. May I attain Buddhahood to benefit all wandering beings so this is the first repetition. Now say it for the second time, please. I take refuge in the three jewels, individually disclose all non-virtues, rejoice in the virtues of all beings, and mentally take up the enlightenment of Buddhahood. Until I am enlightened, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Supreme Assembly. I generate the spirit of enlightenment to, I, to fully attain my own and others' welfare. Having generated the spirit of supreme enlightenment, I invite all sentient beings as my guests, engage in the supreme and wonderful contact of a bodhisattva. May I attain Buddhahood to benefit all wandering beings. And so, you have said it two times. Now, during the third repetition, at the end, when you say, may I attain Buddhahood to benefit all wandering beings, feel convinced that you receive, that you have received the uh, Bodhisattva vows, complete set of Bodhisattva vows, the same Bodhisattva vows as, as they are within the beings of Bodhis Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So, having taken this Bodhisattva vow and having become someone who um, possesses these Bodhisattva vows, feel, feel uh, proud and uh, delight and also whatever merits and uh, positive act, uh, things that you have done, rejoice in them and with the courage to work for other sentient beings, and you, you feel determined that you receive Bodhisattva vows. I take ref please repeat, I take refuge in the three jewels, individually disclose all my non-virtues, rejoice in the virtues of all beings, mentally take up the enlightenment of Buddha. Until I am enlightened, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. I generate the spirit of enlightenment to fulfill the aims of myself and others. Having generated the spirit of supreme, supreme enlightenment, I invite all sentient beings as my guests, engage in the supreme and wonderful conduct of a bodhisattva, may I attain Buddhahood to benefit all and wandering beings. And then next is the actual uh, 
Jenang blessing. So just as I have visualized, uh, we have uh, the uh, Aryatara also visualized in the altar uh, as the front generated deity. Please repeat these lines. O exalted master who has the Vajra body of all Buddhas of three times, please bestow the Jenang of the body of Venerable Tara on me. Please bestow the Jenang of, uh, of Venerable Tara on me, the body Jenang. Please bestow the Jenang of body of Venerable Tara on me. On page six, eight. The Lama cleanses you with the ten syllable Lama Dharadu as well as with the water from the vast action. And then he purifies you with the Shuniyata Mantra, and which says everything dissolves into emptiness from within emptiness and rises instantly of Vajra ground with the Vajra fence, Vajra canopy, and mountains of flame. Uh, in their center is a seed, seed letter, palm, which transforms into a large and spacious lotus flower with uh, its stalks. In the hub of the lotus is a seed letter R, which transforms into a cool white moon disk, on top of which you are seated as Venerable Kadivarani Tara, with a blue-green body, one face and two hands. Your right hand is in the gesture of bestowing sublime attainments, and your left in the gesture of symbolizing three jewels while holding the stem of an opala flower that opens at the level of your ear. Uh, you have the splendid youth of a 16-year-old and your breast is full. You look peaceful and wear a slight, graceful smile. Your hair is blue-black, black with a shimmer, shimmer of blue. Half of it is tied up. The rest is uh, rest falls loosely over your shoulder and covers your, up your body. Your body is adorned with uh, various jewelry and uh, ornaments and so forth. You wear delicate five-colored fabric and, and as the upper and lower garments and sit on the lotus in Bodhisattva posture. There's your right leg slightly extended and your left bent inwards. And then you visualize the 21 Taras. And so uh, starting from in the east, starting from the east and moving clockwise, we have on the seat, uh, on the first seat, uh, Tara, who is swift and heroic. She's red in color, one, he has one face and two hands. The right hand is in the gesture of bestowing sublime attainments while holding a red vase of subjugation. Uh, the second Tara is, uh, on the second seat, is Tara of immense peace. She's white in color like the moon in autumn. Uh, her right hand is in gesture of bestowing sublime uh, attainments while holding a va white vase that pacifies disease and negative forces. And the third, uh, on the third seat, Tara uh, of a golden color, her right hand in the gesture of bestowing supreme uh, attainment while uh, holding a yellow vase that increases lifespan and merit. On the fourth seat, Tara of life, uh, who is uh, golden color, uh, her right hand is in the gesture of bestowing sublime attainment while holding the um, uh, yellow vase that extends life. Span and uh, on the fifth day, there is a sun disk on which sits Tara who utters the sound hum. Uh, she's an uh, orange in color. Her right hand is in the gesture of bestowing sublime attainments <coughs> while holding an enchanting rock or uh, vase. On the sixth seat, there is a disk on which sits uh, sun disk which on which sits Tara who is victorious over the three worlds. She's dark and red in color. Her right hand is in the rest gesture of bestowing sublime attainments while holding a dark red vase that befuddle ev evil spirits. And on the seventh uh, seat there is a sun disk with uh, on which is Tara who averts spells of others. She is black in color and slightly wrathful. Her hand, right hand, in the gesture of bestowing sublime attainment while holding a black vase that counters spells of uh, mantras. 
On this eighth seat, there is the sun disk on which sits Tara, who conquers evil forces. She's dark red in color, her right hand in the gesture of bestowing sublime uh, uh, Siddhi while holding a red uh, vase that overcomes enemies. Uh, ninth, on the ninth seat, uh, Tara, who conquers Maras and subjugates the world, red in color, uh, right hand in the uh, bestowing uh, sublime Siddhi, uh, Supreme Siddhi, holding uh, the, in her outstretched palm a vase that conquers, uh, that conquers Maras and subjugates. And then ten, on the 11th uh, seat, Tara who invokes uh, uh, and rescues from poverty. She is orange in color, resembling refining gold. Her red her right hand in gesture of sublime, uh, Supreme Siddhi, holding in the outstretched palm. And uh, on the 12th, Tara who brings good fortune, uh, right, orange in color, right hand uh, bestowing supreme and uh, Siddhi while holding on an orange uh, vase that brings uh, good fortune. Uh, Thirteen seed Tara bl of blazing fire, red in color, right hand in the, uh, giving supreme Siddhi, uh, holding a vase and that overcomes enemies. Uh, on the 14th seat, a frowning Tara on a sun disk. She is black in color and slightly frowning. Uh, the right hand in, uh, bestowing Supreme Siddhi or, uh, while holding a black vase that pierces obstructors. And on the 15th, Tara of Great Peace, her body white in color, right hand in the gesture of bestowing Supreme Siddhi uh, and vase, holding a vase specifying negative actions. On the 16th, Tara liberating all uh, through the home of knowledge. Red in color, right hand in the gesture of bestowing Supreme Siddhi, holding a vase spreading knowledge mantra 17th on the 17th seat Tara moving the world uh, orange in color gesture of uh, in uh, uh, supreme city uh, right hand in supreme city gesture holding an uh, orange vase that subdues knowledge uh, on the 18th Tara who pacifies and removes sicknesses from poison and uh, white in color uh, holding a vase in this um, right hand in the Supreme City gesture, and 19th, uh, the Hatara eliminating disputes and bad uh, the dreams, uh, white in color. And so, uh, with this visualization of the Taras, uh, you receive the blessing of the uh, 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 body of Aryatara. So, from this letter Om at the forehead of the self generated Lama and so forth, the light rays go out and invite the Taras in the form of uh, letter Om and so forth. And so next you are requesting the uh, blessing of the speech of the, the uh, Tara with that uh, verse, uh, O exalted master who has the Vajra speech of all the Buddhas of the three times, please bless with Jenang of speech. And so from the uh, a letter R at the throne of the meditational deity of the self generation at the Lama and the front generation, the rays of light are ra ra radiate out and invite ta uh, Taras, either red uh, Taras or any of these let red letter R, a red lotus flower, red nectar, and or red rays of light that comprise all blessings and powerful abilities of the Vajra speech of all the root lineage lamas, meditational deities, buddhas, bodhisattvas, and assembly of taras. These objects arrive like particles of a sunbeam and fill the entire space. They dissolve into your throat and cleanse and purify all negativities and negative actions, defilements, and latencies that you have accumulated through your speech. You attain the jenang of Vajra speech and are empowered to achieve the spiritual feats of the a speech. Uh, visualize that uh, at your throat there is a red lotus, the center of which is marked with a red letter R. The Lama recites Om, uh, following mantra three times on Dharitu Dharitu Revaka Vajra Abhikhenza Swaha. May all the blessings of the Vajra speech of the root and lineage gurus, uh, the meditation deities, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, the assembly of Taras, enter the speech of the disciples and may the disciple attain all the spiritual feats of the speech. And so the same visualization goes with the body jenang. So this completes the jenang. Please repeat for the next one, mind jenang of mind. 
Exalted Master, who is Vajra Mind of all the Buddhas of three times, please bestow the Jenang of Mind of Venerable Tara on me. Please bestow the Jenang of Mind of Venerable Tara on me. Please je- bestow the Jenang of Mind of Venerable Tara on me. So, from the latter home, at the heart of the self generated, la- the, that is the Lama self generation, and the front generation in the altar, rays of light radiate out and invite the either blue Taras or any of these blue letters home. Blue Vajras, blue nectar, blue rays of light that comprise all the blessings of powerful abilities of the Vajra mind of the root and lineage lamas, meditational deities, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and the assembly of Taras. These objects fill the entire space like heavy red downpour. They dissolve into the heart of the, and uh, your heart and cleanse the purify and purify all negative actions, defilements, legendaries of your accumulated with your mind. You attain the jenang of Vajra mind and it empowers you to achieve the spiritual feats of the mind. So it empowers your mind to have gained the ability to see that things, though they do appear as if they have some kind of objective independent existence, uh, they uh, do not exist that way. So you gain that insight uh, into emptiness uh, which gradually increases in its intensity and power and be- you attain the uh, so that you uh, are able to uh, attain uh, ultimately the uh, the wisdom of emptiness which sees emptiness directly So that uh, the, the uh, think that at your heart there is a blue Vajra, the herb of which is marked with a blue hum. The Lama recites the Om um, uh, following the mantra three times Om Dharitu Dharitu Soha and may all the blessings of the Vajra mind and uh, root lineage, uh, root and lineage lamas, the meditation deities, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and assemblies of Taras enter the mind of disciples and made the disciples attain the spirit, all the spiritual feats of mind. And this completes the jenang of mantra, mind. So, blessed one, I will hold on to the blessing of the mantras. Please grant it to me. So, next is uh, giving the, the mantra. So, Imagine that you have recited these lines three times. Blessed one, I will hold on to the blessing of mantras. Please grant it to me. And uh, please, blessed one, I ho- uh, will hold on to the blessings of mantra three times. Uh, mantra, please grant it to me. So I'll have a taste of this uh, uh, nectar pill. It's really uh, sweet. Mm-hmm. So as long as went back to this point of the jenang of mantra. So may all disciples attain all the spiritual feats of the uh, mind. Please, blessed one, I hold on to you the blessing of mantra. Please grant it to me. Repeat this. Blessed one, I'll hold on to the blessing of mantras. Please grant it to me. So three times. So from the crown, throat, and heart of the deities of the front generation, the letters Om Ah Hum come forth and dissolve into the Om Ah Hum at your crown, at the disciples' crown, throat, and heart, respectively. Visualize that your body, speech, and mind have been blessed and to, or transformed into the nature of body, speech, and mind of the meditation deity. That uh, and that blessings uh, has been stabilized with Om Ah Hum. The Lama recites the following. Then uh, the Lama recites the following. The requesting request addressed to the deity. Blessed one, I will bestow the blessing of the mantra on them. Please exert your guarding influence on me. So, 
from the uh, for the recitation of each of the following mantra visualize that a replica of the mantra garland arises from the mantra garland at the heart of the lama the replica exits from the mouth of the lama enters your mouth and while it emits rays of light settles clockwise around the letter thumb on the moon disk at your heart and so with this imagine that your uh, uh, speech is blessed uh, so that you attain the uh, uh, potential for attaining Vajra speech. Please repeat Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. So you should repeat this, you should have repeated this uh, with the visualization as said above. So let us recite the Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha for a round of mala. Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. 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 So I'll go through the ne rest of the man uh, taras that I had left earlier. On this twelfth seat is Tara who brings good fortune. She is orange in color and her right hand in the gesture of bestowing supreme uh, siddhi while holding an orange vase that brings good fortune. On the 13th seat is star of blazing fire. She is red in color, right hand in the gesture of supreme uh, siddhi uh, while holding a red vase that overcomes enemies. On the 14th seat is star of <coughs> frowning Tara. She is black in color and slightly frown her Right hand in the gesture of bestowing supreme city while holding a vase that pierces obstructions. Tara of great, uh, next is Tara of great peace. On the 15th seat, her body white in color, right hand in the gesture of supreme city while holding a white vase that passes with negative actions. The 16th, uh, Tara who liberates through home of knowledge, she uh, is in red in color. Her right Right hand in the gesture of bestowing Supreme Siddhi while holding a red vase that spreads knowledge mantra. On the 17th, Tara who um, moves the world. She's orange in color. Right hand in the gesture of Supreme Siddhi while holding orange vase that subdues knowledge mantras. O 18th, who pass, the Tara who pacifies and removes sicknesses. She is white in color. Uh, red, uh, right hand in destroying Supreme Siddhi and then uh, holding a vase, 19th, uh, Tara who eliminates disputes and bad dreams, white in color, gesture, uh, right-handed gesture of Supreme City, holding a white vase that removes disputes and bad dreams. On the 20th seat is Tara who eliminates epidemics. She's orange in color, her right hand in the gesture of Bistro Supreme City while holding an orange vase that eliminates epidemics. On the 21st, uh, seat is Tara who of enlightened activities. She's white in color. Her red hand is bestowing uh, in the gesture of bestowing Supreme Siddhi while holding a va vase that accomplishes different enlightened activities. So all these Taras have one face, two hands with left hand in the gesture of giving refuge while holding an upala flower. And so we'll not do the rest of the mantras. Then rays of light radiate out from the seat letter at the heart of the Lama and invite all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of ten directions, as Empire on page 23. Uh, Directions as apartment deities, the Lama makes offerings of water for drinking, washing, flour, incense, fragrant scent, uh, food, and music to them, and requests them to, with this word, all the Thakadas, please bestow the actual empowerment. And then the Buddhas arouse the intention to confer the empowerment. Male and female Bodhisattvas express auspiciousness and rain down flowers and likes. The empowerment deities holding nectar, filled vases, and confer the um, empowerment, wrathful beings dwell in the cardinal and intermediate directions. 
dispelled obstructing forces. And Lama holds a vase and date, uh, recites the, uh, the verse of auspiciousness of the three jewels. So possessing great excellence, you are like a mountain of gold, protector of the three worlds, who abandoned the three types of floors, Buddhas with eyes like lotus bloom. May you grant us specifying auspiciousness today. And what they what they taught is supreme and unchanging, renowned and so forth. And so in this very special uh, site of Vajrasana, uh, we have the meditated on the to the best of our ability the bodhicitta on the which is the very special uh, dharma, and so through this practice of bodhicitta, you will make this life a meaningful one uh, to benefit others and also um, gain the imprints for be, to be able to continue to do uh, practice the dharma. For the benefit of for the uh, uh, benefit of the Dharma and all sentient beings, even in uh, in the next lives, life after life, uh, uh, you to by attaining uh, a, a human f uh, body uh, which has the eight um, uh, ledgers and uh, then the ten. Uh, the ten opportunities. So the concluding lines, I will do everything. At the end, it says, I will do everything the principal deity has advised. So please make the thanksgiving mandala offering. ground and under with perfume, strewn with flowers, ad adorned with mud marrow, the four continents, the sun and the moon, I imagine this is Buddha filled and as a blessed Buddha filled, we offer it to you. May all beings enjoy the perfectly pure Buddha fields. So, where are we on the text of uh, Bodhicitta Vivarana? As long as is asking. Uh, I think we are on verse number 69. Uh, verse 69. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So verse number 67, going back, 
When the ultimate truth is explained as it is, the conventional is not obstructed. Independent of the conventional, no ultimate truth can be found. And then the con 69, 68, Oh, no, 67, uh, when the ultimate, okay, 68. The conventional is taught as to be emptiness. The emptiness itself is the conventional. One does not occur without the other, just as being produced and impermanent. 69, the conventional arises and, uh, from afflictions and karma, and karma from uh, arises from the mind and so forth. So in order to off, in order to attain um, attain uh, liberation, nirvana, we uh, need to overcome this clinging to true existence. And so, uh, in order to attain uh, omniscient state of Buddhahood, we need to also overcome and completely eradicate the. Um, the residual res latencies called obstruction, obscuration of mind, uh, knowledge. And so without this, you cannot attain the, uh, uh, them. And then uh, even the bodhicitta itself cannot overcome these uh, defilements by them itself. So verse number 73, when this emptiness is explained, uh, uh, as explained, it's meditated upon the yog by yogis in this way. No doubt, there will arise in them a sentiment attached to others' welfare. So when you see sentient beings swayed by uh, the uh, uh, karma and delusions, and you understand from your experience that these uh, karmas and delusions are something that can be uh, eliminated from your mind, from uh, from their mind. You also feel the um, you also feel confident and proud that. And it is possible for me to help these ancient beings to get rid of the, these uh, defilements and karma. And so from your experience, as you, when you meditate and integrate this teaching within yourself, you'll be able to tell, have a taste of it and be able to tell that it is something uh, possible for you to attain an, uh, enlightenment by overcoming these defilements. So with regard to those beings that have bestowed benefits upon me in the past by being my parents or friends, I shall strive to repay their kindness. So those, to those beings that are being squashed or tormented by the fire of afflictions in the prison of existence, just as I have given them suffering in the past, it is befitting today that I give them happiness. The fruits which are desirable or undesirable in the form of fortunate or unfortunate births in the world come about from helping sentient beings or harming them. If by relying upon sentient beings the unexalted state of Buddhahood is brought about, what is astonishing about the the fact that whatever prosperity there is among gods and humans, such as that enjoyed by Brahma, Indra, Ruda, and worldly guardians of the world, there is nothing in this triple world system that is not brought about forth by helping others. As hell beings, as animals, as hungry ghosts, the different kinds of suffering which sentient beings experience come about from harming others, hunger, thirst, attacking others and each other, and the agony of being tormented, which are difficult to avert and unending. These are the fruits of harming others, just as there is Buddhahood and awakening mind and the fortunate births on the one hand and the unfortunate birth on the other. Know that the karmic fusion of beings too is twofold. Support others in all possible ways. 
Yes. Protect them as you would your own body. Neglect of other sentient beings must be sh shunned as you would a poison. Uh, because of their detachment, did, because the, of their detachment, did not the dis disciples attain this awakening? By never abandoning the sentient beings, the fully awakened Buddhas attain awakening. Thus, when you consider the occurrence of the fruits of beneficial and non-beneficial deeds, how can anyone remain even in an in, for an instant attached only to his or her own welfare, rooted firmly because of compassion and arising from the shoot of awakening mind, the true awakening that is the sole fruit of altruism? Uh, altruism, is, this is what the conqueror's children cultivate. When through the practice of, uh, when through the practice it becomes firm that then alarmed by others' suffering, the Bodhisattvas renounce the bliss of concentration and plunge even to the depths of relentless hell. This is indeed amazing, praiseworthy it is. This is excellent way of the sublime that they give away their own flesh and wealth is not surprising at all. Those who understand this emptiness of phenomena, yet also conform to the lack of the, the law of karma and its results, that is more amazing than amazing. That is more wondrous than the wondrous. Those who wish to save sentient beings, even if they are reborn in the mire of existence, are not sullied by the stains of its events. Just like the petals of a lotus born in a lake, though bodhisattvas such as Samandabhatra have burned the woods of afflictions with the wisdom fire of emptiness, they still remain moistened by compassion. Those under the power of compassion display act of departing birth and merriment, renounce the kingdom, engaging in ascetic penance, great awakening and defeating the Maras, turning the wheel of Dharma, entering the realms of gods, and likewise display the act of going beyond the bounds of sorrow. In the guise of Brahma, Indra, Vishnu, or the fierce form of Rudra, they perform the compassionate dance with acts bringing peace to beings. From for the respite of those dis disheartened on the road of existence, the two wisdoms that lead to the great vehicle were taught. They are, however, not ultimate as long as they are not exhorted by the Buddhas. Uh, disciples in a bodily uh, state of cognition will remain as if in a swoon, intoxicated by absorption. When exhorted, then in diverse forms, they will become attached to others' welfare, and if they gather stores of merit and wisdom, they will attain Buddha's, uh, Buddha's full awakening. Because the propensities of two obscurations exist, they pro these propensities are referred to as seeds of existence. From the meeting of the seeds with conditions, the shoot of cyclic existence is produced. The paths revealed by the saviors of the world follow the pattern of being's propensities uh, mental uh, dispositions. The uh, diverse methods employed by the bu Buddhas vary according to the diversity of sentient beings. Um, instructions may be found of vast. On uh, some occasions, an instruction is characterized by both. Though such diverse approaches are taught, they are all equal in being empty and non dual. The retention of power of the Bodhisattva grounds as well as the perfection of the Buddhas, the omniscient ones to be, aspects of awakening. Those who fulfill the welfare of others in this way constantly through their body, speech and mind, and who advocate the notion of emptiness, these, uh, there is no question of their being nihilistic, neither in cycling existence nor in uh, nirvana, recite the great beings. Therefore, the Buddha taught, the Buddha's taught here the non-abiding nirvana, the single taste of compassion is merit, the taste of emptiness is most excellent. Those who drink the elixir of uh, emptiness to realize self and others' welfare and conquer's children, conquerors' children, bow to them with your entire being. They are always worthy of honor in the three worlds. These guides of the great of the great uh, world recite as representatives of the Buddhas. This awakening mind is stated to be the highest ideal in the great vehicle. So with an absorbed, absorbed determined effort generate this awakening mind. And so uh, Solon has completed the text, to, uh, including the colophon. This translation prepared by uh, on the basis of reading the Tibetan roots. No, no. 
This concludes the commentary on Awakening Mind, composed by the great Master Arya Nagarjuna, and translated by Gunakara and translator uh, Rapshi Chenyan, and later revised by Indian abbot Kanaka Varma, the and great translator Pasav Nyamathak. So we have been, we have gathered in this very special place uh, where the Buddha himself became enlightened and blessed by the Buddha and great masters like Master Nagarjuna and uh, so forth. And uh, so we are doing our best through their blessings and teachings. We are doing our best to become uh, ever closer to them and to fulfill their, uh, the, the uh, in in intentions and uh, of these great masters, including the Buddha. And so, for the benefit of all beings, please make this uh, dedication prayer. Whatever merit I have gained, may it benefit all the Dharma and sentient beings. So next we are going to do the So this is the prayer uh, at the end of Lamrim. From my two collections, vast space that I have amassed from a working with effort at this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose mind's wisdom eye is blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all lives, Manjushri. May I find the best of complete graded paths to the teaching, and may I please all Buddhas by my practice. Using skillful means drawn by the strong force of compassion, may I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings with the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I uphold Buddha's teaching for a very long time, with my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction the most precious teachings have not yet spread or once spread have declined, may I reveal this treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounteous uh, peace and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time by even this graded path to enlightenment completed due to the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and dear children May all humans and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and create conducive conditions for practicing the excellent path never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes efforts to act in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, may he always be assisted by the mighty ones 
and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. So this is the summary report of uh, the uh, donations received and expenses made. So with due respect, due respect to Your Holiness the Dalai Lama, at this very uh, sacred place of Vajrasana, Your Holiness has given the Bodhisattva Bodhicitta vows and then the teaching to the Bodh uh, Master Nagarjuna's Bodhicitta Vajrasana and Bodhicitta Vivarana and then given the Jenang of the 21 Taras. So these are the sponsors, Chikang Shunsang Awa Gyansen. Kyosan Wang Chukin family and the family service Toshi Wang Chuk and these families uh, 
Sungju Jojun Chi Dubu Jumadan, the Adam Chigwe Juju was Shanka and the donations received from these benefactors and other donors. So I'll report, read the uh, the account statement. So it is displayed on the screen. So from ten donors. Um, so, from ten uh, uh, veterans, we have 18,500,000. And then from donations from other devotees, uh, we have uh, we received 3,780,286. And then for uh, donations for Mangja offering, the tea, we received 13,464,830. And then uh, so this is the expense for the tea. And uh, then the next is uh, the remuneration for the monastics and tantrics uh, practitioners. Uh, rupees. And then there are other. Uh, Expenses. So for the offerings and flowers, oh, uh, so the remuneration for monks and nuns uh, and tantric practitioners, uh, 18,373,000. So for other expenses, so the total comes to 540,000,000. 118,000. So finally, so finally we'd like to thank Your Holiness for giving all the teachings and instructions. So the district management, including the district uh, collector, the DC, and the police, and, and other organizations. So we have worked for this uh, great success of the all the events. So I think the report is maybe read in English. Humble salutations to Your Holiness the Dalai Lama and the greetings to this holy assembly. I seek your blessing and the permission to present this brief report on the December teachings of 2022 in Bodh Gaya. In this august and august assembly gathered here from the many parts of the world. We thank Your Holiness for your immense kindness in bestowing precious holy teachings on Master Nagarjuna's commentary on Bodhicitta on December 29 and the 30th, followed by conferring the blessing of a 21 Tara on December 31st in this holy land of enlightenment. We are also extending our heartfelt thanks to the teaching sponsors, Ladin Chutra Molam Chemo Trust, Chusun Ngawan Jensen Kangshan Song family, Sawa Tenzin family, Parsu Chupan Kesang Wanchu family, 
Sitang Chanzo Teshi Dorji and the Lobsang Temba family, Nyana Ngawang Namje family, Let Tiho Tupnem Penjo family, Ama Mito Yangchen family, Jayang Chunjur and Yishigomba Sang family, and the Nyanan Chudang siblings for generously sponsoring this teaching and the long life offering events. We also want to thank all the devotees for voluntarily making donations to its Sangha, tea, and the bread offerings as well as teaching. Now I would like to present the account statement of Bodh Gaya teachings from 29 to 31st December 2022. Receipt. Donation received from 10 teaching sponsors, 1 crore 85 lakhs. Teaching donation received from devotees, 37 lakh 80,286. Donation received for tea and the bread offering, 1 crore 34 lakh 64,830. Donation received for Sangha offering 1 crore 83 lakh 73,692. Total we have received 5 crore 41 lakh 18,808. Payment, total spent for tent, sound, LED screens, lavatory, FM, CCTV, printing and publications, generators and fuel, decoration and lighting extra. 2 crore 18 lakh 59,057. Offerings made to Sanghas during the teachings, 1 crore 83 lakhs 73,000. Tea and the bread offered during teachings, 23 lakhs 68,000. Donations to Prime Minister Case Fund for COVID-19 Relief Works, 30 lakhs. Donation to Chief Minister's Relief Fund, Bihar, 20 lakhs. Donation made to its charitable works during the teachings, 21 lakhs 16,751. Purchase and miscellaneous expenses, 44 lakhs 2,000. Total payment is 5 crore 41 lakh 80,808. I hereby express innumerable thanks to your holiness from the depth of my heart on behalf of all gathered here in this holy land of enlightenment, along with the worldwide audience joining us through the internet. We are profoundly blessed to have your presence on earth guiding us. We present our genuine and the sincere request to your holiness that you have a long and a healthy life to continue guiding us to peace and happiness. On this special occasion, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the esteemed office of the district magistrate and many other Gaia district administrative officers for their kindness in providing all types of support. The office of a superintendent of police and various police personnel for Gaia, of Gaia district for their friendly maintenance of law and order, providing high level security measures throughout the events the Bodh Gaya Naga Parishad and various departments under it for maintaining cleanings and other support. Bodh Gaya Temple Management Committee led by Mr. Nangzir Dorji for their cooperation and various assistance. The Department of Security Central Tibetan Administration for providing round-the-clock security. Namje Monastery for their enormous assistance and support. Thadden Chuter Molam Chamber Trust for their hard work in arranging the preparation of a tea, bread and other services. I am sure there are individuals and organizations whose names are not included here who have played significant, significant roles in making this event happen. I take this opportunity to thank all of you while I, I apologize for not announcing your names. Thank you very much. May all enjoy happiness and peace. Thank you. So now